So this is SCA maths. Let's say I have six numbers, two, three, six, four, seven, and there's a missing number. And they told us the mean of all the numbers is five. And we are asked to find the missing number. So this could go for one or two marks. This is like a simple version of it. So in this question, the, the idea behind this is that you're always multiplying the mean by the frequency, by the number of data items we have. How much do we have? We have six. So the, the sum of all of all the items is going to be the mean times the number of items. So we're going to end up with five times six is 30 because all of this should add up to give me 30. So what I can do is sum this and whatever this adds up to subtract from how much I know it should be. And I would be able to figure out the missing number. So this is the technique that you apply all the time with these questions. So two, three, six, what is this? 10, 20, 22. And we need to reach up to 30 so we can immediately come to the conclusion that the missing number here is eight. Agreed? Now let's see what's going on in this question. The average mass of four solids A, B, C, D is 1.5. So right away they gave us the mean, the average. It's 1.5 kilograms. So I can immediately multiply this by four and get the sum. Get the sum of all the masses. The sum of all the masses is the mean multiplied by the number of solids we have here. So this is 1.5 multiplied by four. 1.5 multiplied by four is 6.0 kilograms. So I have the sum of all the masses. Understood? Now there's a reason we are doing this. Okay. So I have six kg. The, let's read the question. There's some complications in this question. The average mass of solids A and B is 1.6. So it means I can consider this as 1.6 and 1.6. It's not, but on average, both of them would be 1.6. So I could get the total of A and B. That may come in handy. The mass of solid C is three times the mass of solid D. What is the mass of solid C and D? So we in the answers, we need to give the mass of solid C and of solid D. So let me show you how I'd go about to do this, how I would think about this. The sum mean multiplied by the number of solids. So your mean multiplied by the number of solids. We have the total mass. Let's find the mass of how, how much A and B would be together. So this is the sum of A, B, C and D. Let's get the sum of a and b would be 1.6 times 2 right because on average the mass of a and b is 1.6 so 1.6 times 2 we're going to get 3.2 kg what does this mean this means that c and d must add up to 6.0 take away 3.2 the entire take away these two mass and that gives us 2.8 kg so we go in places. This amount of working here could get you something. You're reaching places out here. What do we need to do now? Well, we need to understand that a certain ratio, a certain proportion has been established in this question. The mass of solid C is three times the mass of solid D. So that means we are dealing with four parts. Think about it. The mass of solid C is three times the mass of solid D. How many parts do you count? Four parts. What does this mean? How can we take advantage of this? Well, if we need to work out the mass of solid D, the mass of D is going to be 1 over 4. Do you understand? D is a, is a quarter of the mass of C and D. And the mass of C is going to be 3 quarter of 2.8. Shout out to Micah, one of the students from the SEA class. All right, I'm seeing answers. Tamara says C will, um, D will be 0.7 and C will be 2.1. We'll verify that shortly. Sounds good to me. D is going to be a quarter of 2.8, which is indeed 0 0.7 kilograms. And the mass of C is going to be three quarter of uh, the same 2.8, because that's the mass of C and D combined, which is 2.1 kilograms. So it's important for students to have a very good understanding of questions like this this is a more complex version of um a question with mean and finding the missing value 
and these questions come once sometimes twice in the same sea exam if you are interested in classes i have classes every saturday with sea students and the classes take place from 9 to 11 i just finished my class with them right now we are doing past papers um and it's a good it's a good practice for students who are decent in sea or okay in sea math we have sea math sea english sea creative writing um if you are okay and you need that practice to just get you into the exam in tip top shape let's feel free to join the classes let me just send the link to the number on the screen there we go all right people love and blessings love and blessings